Ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to you on behalf of the BCSA, the British Czech and Slovak Association, and the Dvořák Society. Our speaker this evening is Ross Allen, who for many years was a music lecturer for Birkbeck College, University of London. He has also given numerous guest lectures for the Royal Opera House, English National Opera, the Wagner Society, the Gustav Mahler Society, Wigmore Hall, Symphony Hall, Birmingham, London Jewish Cultural Centre, and the Art Society. And the programme this evening is Remembering Editor Gruberova, Slovak Opera Singer, 1946 to 2021. So I wish you a pleasant evening and I look forward to seeing you in the interval. After about the first half, there'll be some wine and some nibbles, uh, which I hope you'll enjoy. And if I may just mention, our next program is Two on a Motorbike, and it's on the 10th of, of May, but we'll circulate details then. So many thanks for us, and I look forward to the program which I know is excellent. Thank you, Jana, and good evening. As David Patrick Stearns wrote in his obituary for Gramophone magazine, no modern lyric coloratura soprano had so much high-quality vocal mileage as Edita Gruberova, an operatic career lasting an amazing 51 years. Her death in Zurich a year and a half ago at the age of 74, was only two and a half years after her spring 2019 farewell to the opera stage with a Munich performance of Donizetti's Roberto Devereux, which reportedly received a 10-minute ovation. And certainly her extraordinary vocal accuracy, range, volume, and flexibility made her, in many ways, the successor to Joan Sutherland in the field of bel canto opera. She dominated the world stages with her perfect mastery of vocal technique, her clear and precise in intonation, and remarkable dramatic insight, creating a compelling stage presence and most importantly, for something that overshadows and transfigures everything else, the seductive and beguiling timbre of her voice. In her lifetime, Edita Gruberova was lauded with many flattering epithets, such as the Queen of Coloratura, the Slovak Nightingale, and Prima Donna Assoluta of dramatic coloratura singing.
So, bel canto singing. The hallmarks of bel canto are impeccable technique, obviously, purity of tone, and phenomenal breath control. You heard that incredible phrase. And not only after finishing that phrase magnificently, she then snatches a quick breath and begins a second one, like this. Hugely impressive. And of course, all young singers now learning these roles, they know that audiences have heard that kind of control. <laughs> 